I like the conversation and I like to learn. One of my favorite parts about my job is learning. And I had put out a tweet that said, New Japan, or I think that New Japan should integrate women. That first line, clear that it's my opinion. I think that New Japan should have women. I don't know how they would integrate them. Now let me break down that line. I don't know how they would integrate them because I am not all too familiar with the New Japan uh, or, or the, the Japanese scene as it pertains to women. I know they have a lot of female-only promotions. I know what their attendance numbers are because they are sent to me on a weekly basis. I see some GIFs from Total Divas apps. I follow the results. I get those as well. Uh, we had Deanna Perrazzo write about her experience in stardom for us last year, and uh, thankfully so, it was a great piece. But I mean, I'm not, I, I don't have the time to actively seek out stardom and ice ribbon and things of that nature because I may, uh, you may know, I, 30 hours of my week are instantly compromised watching pro wrestling, reviewing pro wrestling. That's it. That's before I get into all the other duties that I won't bore you with. So I have to put those on a priority list. Priority list is WWE number one, UFC number two, NXT number three. You have to remember WWE has two, uh, two brands. You got your Bellators, your Impact, your Ring of Honor, soon All Elite Wrestling, your North American promotions that run regularly, have TV shows, all that. Then you've got Ryzen and 1FC because they have big names and, and the MMA scope. Then you have whatever boxing promotions are out there. So those are my priorities from a viewing standpoint as dictated by the obligations of my employer. I am a self-employed person, independent contractor under Fightful.com with the goal of making money for Fightful.com. And it, as a I do that, I have to review the things that most people, the majority, want me to review. Now, when I'm in a bind and I can't take in things in a timely manner, I'll have a Warren Hayes review the G1 because I could not fairly review that in a timely manner. Did I watch it? Yes, but I wasn't able to review that in a timely manner. Impact, Ring of Honor, uh, NWA, Being the Elite, I watch all those. Can't review it in a timely manner. Steven Jensen does that. 205 Live, NXT, NXT UK, same thing. Warren Hayes does that. So in between all this content, it's tough to take that in. Not a loyal follower of it. However, I am incredibly aware that I have enjoyed Asuka. I have enjoyed Io Shirai. I have enjoyed uh, Kairi Sane. I have enjoyed Tony Storm, Deanna Perrazzo, Shayna Baszler. I've enjoyed any number of women who have either come from Japan or worked in Japan on those tours. So my thought was, yeah, I'd like to see them because the platform would be nice. Now, this garnered a lot of haste, a lot of people acting like I, I was saying, saying it as if it was some sort of charity case. Well, that's not the case. I said I thought it would be nice because New Japan is by all, by all means the second biggest promotion in the world. I would love to see women featured on that because they're not. I like seeing women featured on Ring of Honor now. They have a lot of work to do to that division, but I like seeing women featured on there. I wish they were treated as less of a novelty, but I, I really enjoy seeing them on there. How, the, how I would want them integrated in New Japan, I'm not sure. Whether it be a division, I never said a division. Whether it be a match here or there, maybe. Whether it be them dipping their toes in the water in one of their Western shows because that is an audience that is more, more used to that. Sure, I, I don't know. Just said I'm open to it. My issue was the fallacy that the reason that New Japan in particular does not have women in their company is because they let women have their own promotions or that they respect women so much that they have their own promotions. 
That is complete and utter horseshit. DDT has women. There are a number of wrestling promotions in Japan that have women. And I had people on both sides of this argument pointing to DDT as the point. As, well, why don't you support them? Why don't you support them? Well, that's, that's another issue here. Whether you think of me as a journalist, a media member, or an internet shit dick, I'm a guy with a job. And my job is to cover pro wrestling. It is not my job to support a company. It is not my job to promote a company. The only company that I am beholden to support is Fightful.com. And on any given program, someone who buys ad space or ad time from us. And I have rejected ad time from promotions and from outlets. Uh, I, I won't make any bones about it. I passed up on a deal with the zone. Because I thought it was a conflict of interest to promote something in which we would have a stock on based on the number of people that we signed up. And that, that, that didn't jive well with me. I felt like that could possibly taint future coverage on that outlet. Respect the offer, passed on it. So it is not our job to support a DDT. It is not our job to support stardom. It is not our job to support New Japan Pro Wrestling. The reality is New Japan Pro Wrestling is the size of a promotion to the point to where we cover it on our website. And if New Japan Pro Wrestling featured these women, I, as someone who has to cover this amount of wrestling, would have more of an opportunity to see them than I currently do. I do have a life outside of wrestling, you know. I like to do some other stuff. But if they were on New Japan... I would have that opportunity that I don't have now because of, quite frankly, time constraints. However, I would get people, I got, the, the main thing I got was, you're uneducated. And then when I would ask them to educate me, it wouldn't happen. It would never happen. So I reached out to wrestlers. I reached out to journalists. I reached out to people who said, educate me. I would say that I had... If I contacted 12 people that said, you are uneducated, two people, or one person had a conversation with me about that. And that was Emily Pratt, who sent along some links, which I greatly appreciated. Uh, Sierra didn't say that I was uneducated, but we had a discussion privately about it. And I said, hey, you want to do a monthly write-up on this and we'll see how it does? I would love that. I, I'm not going to root for that to fail. I would love for something like that to take off and lead to great things and great content, additional content. But also had a lot of people comparing it to New Japan. Had a lot of people comparing Stardom to New Japan. Stardom was drawing a few hundred people. They have their own streaming service. That's great. That's a great platform too. But if you're telling me that it would be bad to feature two stardom wrestlers on New Japan Wrestle Kingdom and say, hey, they got a streaming service, that would be cool. I don't buy that. Now, I do understand the point where a lot of people are saying, oh, they would swallow stardom whole, they would kill all these Joshi promotions. What I got a lot of were people who said, oh, New Japan would kill these Joshi promotions. And I'm like, well, what would that do? Would that mean more money for the women? Because I had multiple women say, yeah, it can get a little scary when the sponsorships aren't there. I had one of the six women that I spoke to say, yeah, you should support companies like that. You should support the women companies that are over there. And I said, hey, I get it from a fan perspective, but from a media perspective. And then she said, well, then I see your point. From a fan perspective, hey, support what you want to support. I'm not going to sit here and clown somebody for watching Stardom. I had a lot of people doing that, too. That was weird. They were like saying, oh, a bunch of hipsters watch Stardom. Oh, who gives a shit who watched Stardom, man? If that's what they like, that's what people like. I have no doubts that I would enjoy Stardom if I had the, the, the man hours to watch the program. Unfortunately, I do not. But this, this fallacy that New Japan 
doesn't have women in their company because of some sense of respect, well, that's not true. They have an incredible female fan base. Emily Pratt in her interview with with Harold Mage uh, talked talked about it. However, there was nothing about women performers really really addressed by him, and that's not his fault. But you, you look at that, and you look. I had a lot of people talk about the opportunity as well. They were kind of on my side of the discussion. And again, as far as integration goes, I don't know how it would be done. I don't necessarily know the ramifications. But you know who hasn't passed up a WWE offer? Kairi Sane, Asuka, Io Shirai, Mako Satomura, uh, Hiroyo <laughs> Matsumoto. Sumi Sakai was all too excited to, to take a title reign in Ring of Honor. These additional opportunities. To act like they wouldn't enjoy the option? You're going to tell me, oh, you're a white westerner pu pushing your culture on somebody. No, I said I'd like to see someone have the ability to be in a pro wrestling match. This ain't basic human rights. It's pro wrestling. It's scripted, it's scripted pro wrestling. I said I think it'd be cool to see him on a show. Journalists also don't have to know everything. And again, you can think I'm a journalist, a media member, an internet shit dick, whatever. We don't have to know everything. I don't have to have taken in years and years and years of Joshi wrestling to have an opinion on what I want to see on a show that I have covered for years and years and years. You know what I haven't seen for years and years and years, I didn't watch PWG for years and years and years. But I was familiar enough with some of their talent to understand about six, seven years ago that I wanted to see more talent like that on WWE programming. I wanted the pace to change. I wanted the style to change. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be uh, opposed to it. I think it would be fun to see women wrestling on, in the Tokyo Dome on Wrestle Kingdom. Not this Wrestle Kingdom. There was a ton of like putting words in my mouth. Or other people's mouths too. I think it would be cool. Why not? Why not have the option? Doesn't have to happen tomorrow. Also, it's New Japan's company. They can do what they want. What they are doing is working very, very well for them. And sure, maybe, maybe some of the Joshi promotions are doing very well. There's some Joshi promotions that aren't doing very well, just like promotions that feature men and women. But to pretend that Stardom and all these other promotions are on the same level financially, on the same level as far as platform, eyeballs, attention, well, if they were, maybe I wouldn't be so gung-ho about the idea. This isn't, this isn't the early 90s. I mean... If, if we were in that landscape, Fightful's probably got live coverage of some big All Japan women's shows because of the level of attention they got back then. Don't have people beating down my door for stardom coverage. I wish they were. I would love nothing more than to do that. I'd love nothing more than to have stardom post shows. I would, I would love nothing more than to have us cover everything. For example, when Matt Riddle worked for Fightful.com, I thought it would be a great idea to uh, do live shows or live coverage of the Evolve shows that he was on. They were a big money loser. We couldn't get people to show up in live coverage for a show that someone on our website was wrestling on. So you have to think about that. Where does stardom rank on the totem pole in Japan? Then think about where it ranks relative to to English-speaking promotions, then other non-English-speaking promotions, AAA, CMLL, we get more demands to cover those than, than a stardom. And I'm using them as the example because they're, they're the most prominent example that I was provided with and the most prominent exa example in which I am uh, given that opportunity to, to see. I, I'd be more, I'm most likely to watch their show if those man hours opened up. 
But this, this idea that a wrestling journalist has to know everything or has to pretend that they know everything, I don't know where you guys got that from. I used the example with one of our subscribers. Man, you guys can comment on a, a Phoenix Suns Washington Wizards trade without watching any game that they played. It's my personal Twitter. Not everything is a report. I'm allowed to offer my opinion. You're allowed to tell me that's wrong, too. But if you tell me that my opinion is uneducated and you make no effort to educate me when I'm clearly open to that, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish. I mean, I have to say honestly, and I mean, this happened a lot a few years ago. And if you don't remember it, I'm sure there are still tweets out there. When New Japan brought up the idea of potentially having an English speaking language option commentary, there were a lot of Western fans who didn't speak a lick of Japanese but enjoyed the show in Japanese who were livid at the idea of changing the product that they know that is theirs. And I understand change can be scary. But the idea that that segregation is better than integration at the highest levels of Japanese wrestling, I don't get it. Now, I also understand that it kind of got forced in, you know, into promotions in Mexico too and it didn't work out so hot. Well, that's, that's the benefit of doing business and having a lot of talent is that you can kind of go back on that. You can say, hey, it didn't work. We tried it. All right. I mean, the UFC did it with flyweights. They're doing it with women's featherweights. There was a time when UFC said they would never have women. Didn't last. Things changed. The world didn't crumble. Everything's all right. Everything's better, in my opinion. But if you're going to tell me that I'm uneducated about something, do me the favor. Make an attempt to educate me. You don't have to do it in front of a big crowd. I'm, I'm open to having the discussion within, within DMs. Uh, my goal as a member of the media is not to dunk on people. It can be fun. But I spoke to three people with New Japan experience who said, I don't know why they don't. Wouldn't mind it. Never had anybody really within the company that was gung-ho for it or against it. Mostly like, why not? So... That's my stance. Why not? But again, you do not have to be an expert on a subject. You do not have to follow a subject religiously to have an opinion on another subject. Because uh, my commentary was not on the Joshi scene. My commentary was on New Japan Pro Wrestling. Didn't have to be anything about the, the expanded Joshi wrestling scene or anything like that. It could just be, hey, you know what? If it were Chelsea Green versus Deanna Perrazzo on Wrestle Kingdom one year, I'd, yeah, I'd probably like it. Sure, why not? Give it a shot. Also, Chelsea Green wasn't talking about New Japan, which was funny because I had a lot of people saying, Chelsea Green's a cop now, and they really went and got aggressive at Chelsea Green over her tweet, which really kicked off the conversation. It wasn't what she was talking about. She cited as much. But I got to say, honestly, the most aggressive fans I've dealt with in wrestling are diehard Japanese wrestling fans from that, that are English speaking. <laughs> the, <laughs> the dozens of people that I talked to from Japan that also speak English were really docile about it. They were calm about it. They were just like... Hey, I agree or I disagree. People who live over there were... I didn't get any aggressive responses. There were a couple that disagreed with me, but they weren't aggressive like the other ones. I mean, look at it this way. It's nowhere near UFC fans. I mean, you could literally tweet the happiest tweet of all time and get some kind of weird racist reply. I don't see any, any racism within New Japan fans, so that's neat. But... That's my rant. Don't expect wrestling journalists to know everything. And don't look down on wrestling journalists when they want to learn about something either. I reserve the right to be wrong about stuff. You're not going to hear me be wrong about a lot of stories because I do a lot of my fact checking. You're going to hear uh, a lot of opinions 
maybe be off kilter with what you agree with, and I'm more than happy to talk to you guys about it. I'll never be above that. That's what I love to do. But, yes, I would like to see women wrestle in New Japan. My opinion has not changed. It will not change. I would like to see that. No, I do not know the ramifications in which it would unfold, and neither do you, because we've never seen it. So instead of uh, introducing hypothetical peril to a hypothetical situation in an aggressive fashion, maybe just take the time and talk to your neighbor. Love you guys. Till next time, Merry Christmas. We're out.